What's up YouTube? Good morning. Today is Tuesday the 29th and we're headed into work. Wife's driving the getter again today. Her shop, her car is in the shop, the Forester. Uh, a deer, deer hit her. Fix my hat. And it is cold this morning. Seven degrees. Mm -hmm. WRX. Guys were running to the store, grab some energy. I think that's where I messed up yesterday. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Got the monsters. Been really liking these here lately. Which flavor y'all like? Let me know in the comments. Our different energy drinks. Alright guys, we made it to the shop. All right guys, I think the day is gonna be a little bit nicer. So we're gonna take the S209 out and be doing some stuff to it. And I think we got some more stuff ordered for the Evo. I'll have to go look to confirm that. But Betty's back in here. And then I think Adrian only likes a little bit on this car. I'm gonna put a base map on it and get it straightened out. So, let's get in here and see what's written on the calendar. Look what we got going on. We got candy. Any of y'all's favorite holiday Halloween? It's coming up. All right, guys. Let me get some work done. Get a little bit more organized. It's a little mess this morning. Uh, I'll be back with y'all a little bit later. Guys, we got to run to the Clarksville fasteners to get some bolts or studs the turbo and then I gotta run by the auto parts store pick up some stuff all right let's head that way picked up a few things I need at the auto parts store time to go to Clarksville fasteners to get a couple studs this size. All right, guys, we are at Clarksville fasteners. We're gonna pick up some studs and nuts and get this car back together. Picked up what I needed. Let's get back to work. Guys. Oh. The S209 out. STI. Alright, guys. And it's time to show you 
what is in this. I know you've been wondering. So we're going to go ahead and open it up for you. Yep. Today we'll be putting the cob access port on the S209 and giving it a little bit more power. Um, so we'll let it warm up throw the tune on 68 of 209 If you guys get me to a thousand subscribers, he'll actually get an R400 for this, and that'll be another video we can do and give this exhaust away to a subscriber that subscribes to our channel and his channel. So, so like I said, go jump on that for a chance to win a free exhaust system. And this is a NVIDIA N1 race. Sounds pretty good. Do a carb unboxing. So, guys, this is what you get. Oh, cool. You got a carb tune keychain. Some carb stickers. sticker so yeah guys anytime you flash a TCM or ECU it does have a chance to fail little cob booklet all right guys so it just tells you it's got a uh, free s firmware up so you can also and always update this uh, it comes with this is the cable Hook it to your computer and it comes with this little holder and uh, Amazon's got a mount for this that sticks to the glass that's like 14 bucks and then I think it comes with another faceplate too usually comes with a, ba a black one and a gray one so we'll see yep yeah. I didn't know if he actually bought an upgrade one Comes with stickers too. Yeah, already. And took that out. You show them the flight tag. Yeah. And this handy little case. And then this, but I'm pretty sure like nobody uses it because you. Have hey, I use it. Stick, <laughs> you have to stick it to your dash. <laughs> I use it on mine. The one guy that sticks 3M <laughs> stuff to his car. Alright, and then you got your cable for your OB2 port. Right. This is usually on here. So if you do get a new access port, and this is actually on here, make sure you pull it off before trying to stick it in the bottom of this because it won't go. <laughs> I've had somebody call me. <laughs> but, alright guys. So it's pretty simple install. You're going to undo this little winding. And then this goes in the plug under the dash. And this goes in the access port. So I'm going to do that 
So here's your your plug right here. If you can see it. Mm -hmm. And then you just well. Push it on up in there. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Then you connect this to this and then when you push the key on should light up and then you just take this film off the AP and then it won't And what I do is I just throw it over there. So you push the center button. And it's going to ask you to install. Confirm that it's a 2019 WRX STI S209. <laughs> right. And then you'll hit the button again. So it's got like a stage zero, a stage one. And then an anti-theft. So I guess we'll just try their stage one for right now. Never seen that before, but mm, new warning. <laughs> yeah, new warning. It's pretty typical though. It does pop up with the warnings. So yeah. So letting you know that use with anything else can cause the ECU to brick. Yeah. And it goes through its whole song and dance on the on the dash. Right. Please turn key off and then on. So it actually pulled the factory data off and then save it to the access port and then it'll flash the map. Mm -hmm. Makes it really easy to go back to stock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just let it do its thing. Yep. It knows what it's doing. All right. We got it flashed now, so we're going to start the car. And if you let the car do that, I, usually when you first flash any Subaru 2015 and up, um, let the gauges sweep and it won't do that long start. So we're going to go into gauges and we're going to set up the six gauges. So at first it'll be all the air corrections. So we're going to change it. So we'll leave. So normally what I run on just on the basic setup. multiplier so this should always be at one Fun. 
standard duty cycle to see how much injector we have left. correction at the bottom up and let it get sorted uh, we're gonna go pull some data off the car and we're actually gonna tweak it and do some custom tuning and then go from there so we're up to temp so we'll just set up some logs and then go from there initial assessment on this in his older S209 video but I have to say as a passenger in this car for the first time um, this thing feels really good like I know the price tag might scare some of you um, you know especially with it being a Subaru but this thing feels really good I've been in all kinds of different cars and this this is probably one of the best feeling you know production cars that yeah. Subaru's made at least. I mean straight out of the box. Like. Straight out of the box. And uh, uh, tell them what's going on with like with the power or the oh because we tune as far as tuning it. We've made logs and looking at the logs, the injector duty cycle is like at 95. So it's doing all it can to keep up. I'm gonna go look on the logs when we get back and uh, see where the AFRs are and see if it's just like keeping it really rich. But uh, I mean, it just looks like an ultra safe map, which it should be for a $70,000 super. Um, but everything else looks good on the map. Uh, I think it's only pulling like 1.5 timing, uh, which is kind of normal. Uh, but other than that, like I think to do any more to the car we're going to need bigger injectors and it actually helps this car out a lot up top because Subaru left a, a lot on the table up top but now it just I mean it's it just freight trains it's once it gets going it gets going so the stock levels were about 20 21 psi I think 20 on this car 
so now it it, taper, it 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 hits its high point at like 23, and then it tapers down to like 21. Um, I think we're we're gonna see what we can do with it, and then go from there. But as far as the downpipe, it's definitely gonna need more injector before. Yeah, I would recommend before you put a downpipe on S209, uh, it's gonna need more injector. Plus, if you got if you got a downpipe, why not go E85? Right. <laughs> Send it. Send it. But yeah, guys, this is an incredible driving car. Like, I, it's kind of hard to put into words, really. If you know someone with one of these or are able to your hands on one to drive it, drive it. I, I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful day out here in Mexico. Yep. Perfect boost temperatures too. Look at that. Yeah. 70 degrees out. Low humidity too. Alright, we're back at the shop. Alright guys, uh, we're going to look over the data and uh, go through it and see what we can tweak to get a, a little bit more out of it and uh, call the customer and tell him he needs injectors if he wants any more out of the car and uh, probably a downpipe. <laughs> so we'll make the call and uh, see what he says and then let you know what his decisions are. <laughs> All right guys, uh, we're gonna end this video here. We're wrapping it up. Adrian's ready to go home. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's done enough today. Um, we're going to look more into the S209 tomorrow and uh, see what we can get into. Finish up knocking out the clutch on this thing. Go do some tuning on the Silver WRX and maybe see if we got anything in for the Evo. So if you liked what you've seen in this video hit that like like button and smash that subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next episode Peace. <laughs> later